Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of jumping into Mega Modded Gungeon and we have some exciting stuff to get on with today. We're going to jump straight into a run and see what's what. But first of all, the Swindler has been fixed in terms of his bartering skill thing. A mod got released to fix that so we can actually reroll shops effectively now. But more importantly, the Expand the Gungeon mod has been updated with an add-on mod called Expand the Gungeon Bosses. Now, the Expand the Gungeon custom floors have their own custom bosses, and I'm really, really excited about it. Like, I just, it's so cool. I mean, I, I, I believe quite a few people have been working on this, like somebody and Lynn and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing, um, and I'm really excited to see them. Now, I have to say, I have already seen a very, very brief amount of the jungle boss, because... I tried to record an episode and unfortunately the game crashed. I've sent over a log. It is a new mod, so there's potential chance of those things happening, unfortunately. But it, I'm sure it'll be fixed in due time very quickly. Um, anyways, from what I saw, very interesting, very cool. And one thing I'm really excited about as well is um, people kind of ro rolled with the idea that me and Apache originally came up with. So um, when we were sort of devising what we're going to do for the bosses... Um, for the floors, because uh, as you guys already know, I sort of designed a lot of the rooms for Expand the Gungeon. I created kind of themes for the rooms in terms of enemies. So there was like animal rooms, there was um, sort of military rooms, kind of like guerrilla warfare in the jungle kind of thing. Um, and so we decided that it'd be really cool to have the uh, pass from the robot as the jungle floor boss, which is what you've seen before, because it's a boss that you don't really see much past uh, like doing the actual robots past and it kind of fit this idea of like a, a, a jungle commander and from what I've seen they've kind of stuck with that theme of having like a sort of military style um, jungle ghillie suited little boss it's really really cool and then I've not seen the one on um, the belly of the beast yet but that one looks sticking in theme as well of being like a parasitic horror and I'm really excited to see them both in action fully and, and kind of see what's going on with the actual full fight of uh of the jungle floor boss because I, I really only saw about 15 seconds of the boss fight um but I'm, I'm really excited to jump back in and see what we can uh, see what we can see i'm playing as the swindler for two reasons one because the swindler is just very good um and i like him and there's that fix that's just come out but also the swindler has a much easier time getting down to the um to the alt floors because the key doors cost 20 each rather than 40 each which is what a normal key would cost for this character so basically you get it for half price and it means it's way way easier to get down there um as long as you don't get hit a bunch obviously because you need your money but i'm excited to try and do that we'll see what we got going on in our shop here oh my god we got the poison dart frog which i absolutely adore and it's very very fitting for going down to the jungle so we'll hope that we can get up to i think it's 85 we'd need to be able to afford that and that's if we don't want to open any chests and if we don't get hit can we, can we, can we step off, please? Can we step off, please? How the fuck did I not get hit there for a second? Yeah, so I lost a lot of money here, unfortunately. I was, uh, was sitting pretty at, like, 60-something. Actually, I'm still on 60. Maybe I didn't lose that much. I don't know how much I lost. But it was more than I should have. I shouldn't have got hit there. I kind of got trapped in the doorway. We'll see. Maybe we'll get some sacks and that'll uh, bolster our money some more. We'll see. I don't think we're going to be opening chests this time around, is, is all I'm saying. Because chests cost 40. I think we've buggered it, to be honest, with our money there. I think we've buggered it. Come on, where's all the sacks at? I swear this character is so random on the sacks. Sometimes you get loads, and other times it's like none. But we did just get a key there, which gives you 30, I believe. Rather nice. And we've got our uh, pet shop here as well. Clown mask. Little muncher. Got some good stuff there. I think I'm going to take the poison frog. And then I'm going to go through here. Poison frog is just very, very, very good. I really like it. Um, we do need to make sure that we don't blow up the barrel here, but we'll just try our best to not do that. Got these little fellas. Got the bomb boy here. Okay, not bad. We can do that. There you go. Lovely stuff. Come on, fire. Dissipate quicker. Down we go into the tree. 20 each. Look, there you go. 
Then we can go fight the boss. Health isn't particularly great right now, but we'll uh, we'll see how we do. I can probably use the shotgun for a lot of this, to be honest. And just use the uh, the dart frog when we're at range to apply some poison. You can see the damage it does. We're not to be using it all the time. Just to apply some poison here and there. Especially we can get close with the shotgun. The shotgun does so much damage up close that it isn't necessary to use other stuff, really. There you go. We're good. Got ourselves a nice flawless there as well, obviously, for the uh, master round. Thank you. And we get ourselves the tentacle, which is also pretty good. I think we'll be using the dart frog mainly. Right, let's go down. And get onto this jungle boss and see what we can get done. We do also, of course, need to try and grab the... Um, I didn't, I didn't destroy my chest. I should have destroyed my chest this floor. My bad. Um, we do also need to try and get the, the crest, the wooden crest, to the next floor to try and go to the belly of the beast. Because I very much would like to see that floor as well and the, the boss on that floor. But if we don't get that done this this uh, episode, that's fine. Um, we, we don't need to showcase both in this uh, episode, at least as long as we get at least one. Yeah, Dart Frog is tippity top tier. We've also got all of these um, trees around that we can destroy for extra loot. These trees do uh, give hearts as well as coins on occasion when you destroy them, as, as you can see right there, look. Look at that damage. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. You can't be poisoned, so there's not much point using that on you. We do need a lot of money this floor as well, so we've got to be sort of cautious of that. Good, good. Extra hearts there, as you can see. Some of the enemies do seem to get stuck on the trees on occasion, as you can see. Not ideal, but it's okay. Everything's poisoned. Look at that. It's beautiful. What I want to be doing really is firing off one frog shot followed by my shotgun. That poison's pretty useful. Right, good, good. We don't need to destroy every tree, but I will try, try to destroy them when I can. Got a brown chest there. Obviously not particularly interested in opening that up right now. Poison should be able to take out some of these enemies residually. Calm down, you. Hey, we finally got a sack. Wondering where the hell they'd got off to. We'll try and destroy these for a little bit more money as well. And it's just nice to have, like, spare health around, too. Hopefully we can find out other chests before we end up taking too much damage. That's sort of a main thing, really. I'd also like to get another weapon for our boss, because... The frog gun's going to be good, but we need ammo for it. I don't know how difficult this boss is going to be. I imagine it's going to be sort of on par with the difficulty of um, the, the, the previous boss, uh, which was pretty difficult. So I'm imagining kind of a hard fight. I mean, this floor does have three chests, so it makes sense that it'd be a harder boss in that regard anyways. Who we got left here? Just you. And we got Snake Boy over here and a spider. There's a spider over here. Extra key there for even more moolah as well. Money's looking really good. Yeah, we can probably use our shotgun for these bad boys, to be honest. Yeah. Not too bad at all. We all good? Yeah, no spawny spawny, please. We've got a wooden crest there. We can probably actually open this now with the amount of money we have. Um, we get ourselves the Glock 42, which I actually don't think I've used before. I don't recognize it. I'll give it a go and see how it does. I mean, it's DTS. So I don't imagine it to be amazing. But it's a, it's a pistol. 
that expends ammo, so it'll be better than a starter, hopefully. Although the starter on this character is kind of ludicrously good, so maybe not. It's very, very low accuracy. Oh god, oh god, dude. That guy absolutely curved the bullet there. Did you see that shit? Okay, this thing's kind of trash. I mean, I, I, I don't know why I expect it. It should be trash. It's D tier, but still. I mean, the good thing is it seems to be you can fire it as fast as you can pull the trigger, which makes it a bit better. But with the accuracy and stuff, it's just not very good. The accuracy's abysmal. I'm probably not going to be using this thing all that much, to be honest. I suppose I could be using my tentacle gun. This thing is pretty good. It's just a little random is all. It's one of those things that you can kind of use at the start of a room and then sort of set it and forget it. Lovely. We've got a shop here as well. Cell creep in here. Arc pistol would be kind of nice. I'd be down to grab an arc pistol. The arc weapons are always fun. And they have some cool synergies on top of that too. Very good. Lovely sack there. Well, I did not see you there, good sir. Lovely, yeah. This thing's amazing. Tentacle thing. Right, where's the rest of our chests at, please? I'm looking to find them pretty soon. I'm the same ammo on both these guns right now. It's good that it just auto-aims at enemies as well. That's like one of the better things about these. We all good? Good, good, good. Again, take out the trees where we can. It's not necessary every time, but as you can see, you can get some good extra loot out of it and HP and stuff, which we quite like. Yeah, you would just fire it off like five or six times and then get back to using your regular guns. So they last a while. You can probably get away without really firing anything else. Just sort of be prepared. Dude, there's so many of these little beanbag boys. Insane. Actually chill out. Is that it? That's it, okay, nice. Dude, where's the last few chests, man? It's taking forever to get to them. Lovely bit of ammo there. More money. There's our boss, at least. But goddamn, the chests are very elusive right now. I, I want to find it before I start taking damage and lose all my goddamn money. Only thing with rooms this big. It is a little bit hard to uh, get all our tentacles in the right places. Good. They keep spawning them directly under the trees. <laughs> How? How is the two chests over this way? What is going on with these chests, man? <laughs> chest spawns are crazy. Wait, I thought we had another chest left. Where's that uh, next chest? Anyways, I'll open this up. Ugh. Lockbox. This isn't very good. It eats up all of our keys, which we don't get keys on this character, so that's good. Maybe it's through here. Uh, chest, chest. Must be through where our crest is, right? Must be. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. And um, is that is that good for us, I guess? Maybe? 
Right, on to the actual boss once again. This, this time we got all these jungle commandos, so definitely pop this off a, a, just an absolute ton. Basically, we've got these little dudes around here, this guy firing knives, and then they do set the grass on fire when they die as well, as you can clearly see. Oh god, this thing's wrecking him. And a guy just spawned underneath me as well, so we're probably going to lose some money here. There's guys in the trees, I'm set on fire. Okay, this is like a second phase, I don't think I saw this before. He's got a fucking flamethrower. He's literally got a flamethrower. My god, this is an amazing fight. Holy shit, that weapon kind of wrecked him, but that was cool. I didn't, I didn't see the second phase last time, and then he exploded himself. We got the turkey. Nice. And we'll go and grab our wooden crest and see what we can get done with it, I guess. Oh, why's it got to be in such an awkward spot to get to, man? And I think I'll buy that arc pistol as well, you know. Why not? But this is this was a good selection of weapons. I mean, this tentacle thing is so good. <laughs> the fact that it auto aims for you is obviously particularly quite useful. Grab the arc pistol and be on our merry way. On our merry way, indeed. We got good money for the next floor. Really, really cool new boss there. Really, really cool. Now we just gotta hope we can keep uh, keep ourselves healthy for the belly. That would be nice. I mean, the frog gun should hopefully help with that. Obviously, the turkey as well, giving us basically a third extra ammunition on all of our guns is very nice. Oh my god, I did not see that bomb guy there. That was very close. He was right next to me. I didn't see him at all. Check out the shop. We've got plenty of money to work with. Helix is good. we got you as well. Hello. Hello, hello. There you go, baby. We did it. That was pretty lucky. That was pretty goddamn lucky. Now we just got to get through to there. The end of this floor. Should probably take a cast, but eh. Whatever. Managed to poison him just before he closed the shop. Good, good. Ooh, hello. A sack. Nice. Grab our chests. Four shot in one of those guys. It's, it's just this gun's just so good. ammo for it as well to keep this party going. We like that. We like that. More sacks as well. Even better. What the fuck? That was just one room with one enemy and that was it. Weird. Nice. Oh, there's another one. You just walked yourself straight off of there. Nice. Okay. I'll accept that, I guess. Keep it going. We're going through pretty speedily here. Do I have the speed outside of combat on? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. Options, gameplay, increase speed. Okay, I do have it on. Do you not be a, a, a good mod? Like, I, I'm sure this wouldn't be too difficult to do. Just make the increase speed out of combat thing even faster. Just so you can get between rooms even quicker. Like, that would be not bad. <laughs> Master of Unlocking's pretty good here, because it's just giving us a bunch of extra money. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. He, sp he spurted out a little uh, a little dude and it hit me. Look like I got most of my money back there. We get ourselves the... This thing? Oh god, yeah, I like this thing. And then we can use our arc pistol a little bit here as well. I've not really used that yet. The arc pistol, I think, is the weakest of the arc weapons. 
The frog dart gun's just too good not to use whenever I've got ammo for it, to be honest. It's just, it's simply too good. And we got ourselves whatever the hell this is. Have you ever wondered what happens to those hearts you left behind in the previous floor? Do you ever think about what happens to those heart dispensers might have done with them? Uh, do you really want to know? You see the moment you, le um, you leave their sights, all your precious hearts are being traded and gambled away. Um, on going to a new floor, your leftover heart uh, dispenser hearts will be converted to coolness. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> That's a really cool idea for an item. Right, let's say uh, we've got a lot of money, so let's maybe re-roll the shop and see if we can get anything good. We got Natasha, uh, which is D, to, D tier to be fair. That's not Natasha, it's the Gemini Carbine. I'll do one more re-roll. We'll get ourselves the half gauge shotgun. Um, and one more. Yeah, I'll take the coffee. Uses up all of our money, but I like speed. Oh wait! This isn't what I thought it was. <laughs> okay. I'll accept it. Alright, just spam the hell out of this for a little while. And then use whatever this is. <laughs> it's very short range. Okay. Oh, it's got a very long reload as well, actually. My god. This thing must be amazing. It's got this long a reload and that short a range. Oh, I, I fucking dived the wrong way. Ugh. I dodge roll the wrong way. Floop bullets. Don't eat it. What does a floop bullet do? Decreases shots beyond 25%. Bullets have a high chance of ricochet to another enemy. Bullets gain speed with each ricochet. Ooh. Oh, dude. This thing plus this gun seems fun. <laughs> right, anyways. Let's go. So how much coolness do we end up getting from that? Just one. Okay. I think it's a 0.5 pair half heart. Oh, we went to the wrong fucking floor. Oh. Why not so stupid? Right. Stage. Prop. Uh, Gungeon. Proper. How do I do the stage thing? Set stage. Is it set stage? I literally don't know. Proper. I can't remember what the fucking command is. Why am I so stupid? One second. Okay, I fixed it. Let's go. Let us go. Right. Down here we go. Whoa! What an amazing chest. Right. Okay. We are in... The Belly of the Beast. I want to see how this weapon performs, because I have a feeling it's going to be goddamn amazing with this fluke bullets thing. I have a feeling it's going to be uh, outstandingly good. And I am very ready for that. It seems very good thus far. Oh yeah, this... This seems outrageously strong. <laughs> I like it. I like it. How, how is it with just like other weapons? Is it good with arc weapons? Ooh, arc weapons is kind of fun with this. It literally properly arcs. That's like part of what the weapon does, but also... How does it work with this? Okay, it just doesn't. I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't. And then my frog. Okay, the frog seems pretty good too, but I think this thing is the real, the real thing. Although the tentacle could be pretty amazing too, actually. Let's, uh, let's test out the tentacle. Yeah, this seems pretty good too. Amazing. We've got loads of money to work with here at the moment as well. Liking the music on this floor as well, it's pretty epic sounding. My god, the shots just keep bouncing and traveling and gaining speed. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I don't remember if there's chests on this floor. 
Pretty sure there is. But yeah, this thing already bounces, so now we just get the bounce, plus it bounces towards enemies, plus it deals extra damage when it bounces. Is eating Karama pretty quick, though, so we're not going to have this gun for long. When there's only one enemy, it's not very good at all. When there's multiple enemies, it's just insane. That was a really, really bad hit there. My bad. Got some ammo for this bad boy there. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. This floor is a lot though. It's confusing and it's a lot. A little bit of armor there. We're getting so many keys from Master Unlocking that she's giving us tons of money all the time. Ooh. Kind of an interesting idea here. Oh god! I didn't see all the others. I wasn't paying attention at all. I thought I was just waiting for that one. Oh, scary. Luckily, our money is still intact. Everything died. You see what I mean? Firing one on one is just like kind of meh. I think one on one we ought to be using the uh, the frog gun. Frog gun's just too good. More keys, but multi uh, rooms with a lot of stuff. Ooh, what the hell's this? Bombarder shells. Increased damage and gives a chance for projectiles to explode. Sounds like it could be pretty goddamn good. Oh god, okay. Bombarder shells does give us knockback though. Let me just check. That's like... The explosion uh, creates a lot of recoil, yeah. So that could be pretty bad for bosses, but like... Oh, dude, as if that just touched me. Yeah, that knockback's gonna be bad. <laughs> that knockback's gonna be real annoying. The Cruller's Glaive. I wonder how good that will be with this whole bouncing around thing. Not great. Oh yeah, this knockback's going to be annoying. This is A tier. It's a lot of knockback for A tier. I, I guess it depends on the gun, really, to how bad the uh, knockback is. I'm not doing well in, on health right now, I'll be honest. The damage is, is undeniable, though. This is doing a hell of a lot of damage. Just a little sketchy as all. Why did I make this room? Come on. Kill him. It's not too bad, actually. Just looks a bit sketchy as all. Well. Yeah, I think this is going to get me killed in the boss fight. This knockback. It's so hard to control. There's so much of it. Can use it to get around, I guess. Okay, right. Boss time. We don't know what we're up against here. We definitely want to use the uh, Killithid's Tendril. And I think we probably want to use the Frog Gun as well. Okay, the Tentacle knocks us back as well. So, don't really know what I'm looking to expect here. Okay, there's the boss. So far, I've done zero damage to him. And the knockback is really not good. Oh my god, the knockback is really not good. I... This knockback is unbelievably bad. This item is trash. Get gone. I don't need you. 
Whoops. Well, hit me then. I can't hit this guy. I have no, like, no damage to him. It's like something I'm meant to be doing in the fight to damage him. Is it these? Oh, okay. There's like these little things that I can destroy. These pustules. There, it's these things. I think. Yeah, again, I've got this weird issue of my, the music from mods, like sound effects and music from mods just isn't affected by my sound settings whatsoever. So the music's way louder than my regular music in game. And I don't know why. It's an issue I have with loads of mods. This is, this is really tough. Like he's got an insane amount of HP by the looks of things. I think I'm doing it right, I think. I don't know if I'm ever meant to be shooting him, though. I, I don't know if I'm wasting ammo shooting him directly. It just seems to be doing damage. It's not a lot. Oh, we got him. There you go. I got an old key. That was a really cool little animation there. Yeah, these things. No. <laughs> they are fucking dreadful. My god. That was a really, really cool fight though. My god. And I'll be honest, parts of it I did not understand. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't realize that required a key. Anyhow. We shall escape the belly of the beast. Really cool stuff. But yeah, something is wrong with the way that this the, the, the mods handle audio in this game. Because there's, there's like a lot of mods that for me, ha like, have, the sound is way too loud. Basically, what it seems like, if I take a, if I take a little look at, um, at my options once we load into the next floor, it seems like the audio is set to this. Like, this is the sound at which the music was playing. But my volume setting is all the way down here. And it's just completely ignoring what my sound settings are. And I don't really know why. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a little annoying. Because <laughs> it means there's certain sound effects that are just ridiculously loud for me. But anyways, we'll see if we end up living here. We'll see if we are ready to go. We've not got all the HP left at the moment, so I'm not expecting to live for too much longer. But, we, we got to showcase what I wanted to showcase here. I'm very happy about it. This weapon's also really goddamn cool. Ooh, there's some HP. Oh, um... Hmm. I seem to have dropped the key, or dropped a key, and now I'm walking into the wall and can't move. I am confused by this. Um, I can't do anything. I guess this is going to be another debug log sort of situation here, but I guess that's the showcase for today. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. We got to see both bosses, and they are both very cool. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one when things are a bit more fixed. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.